What's going on, Adalo community? This is Mario Flawless from Templar Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can attach a collection items to another collection of items. Let's jump right in. Today's request comes from Bat Batau, Batu. Sorry if I, I pronounced that incorrectly. Batau, Batu, this user is looking to be able to create a trip and from the trips automatically create activities for that trip, for that user. The best way that I know how to do this is to show you how I've done it with an example. So in this app, this is a, an SEO checklist app, and it's the same in regards to when a user creates a website, it will automatically attach tasks to the website that need to be completed. So for your example, you have trips with activities. Mine is websites with tasks. So when a user creates a website or a trip, we want to send them to a page where it will automatically link all of the activities or tasks to that trip or website. So in this example here, when a user goes to create a new website, we have a, a simple form. All I need for them to add a website is a name and a URL. Okay. So once that information is entered, we create the website. In your case, you will create the trip. All right, and we're gonna link to the next screen. Now the next screen here is going to be a loading screen where we want to add all of the tasks to the website or in your case, the trip. So I've added a list all the way down here. Let's see, where's the list? Here it is, here's the list. This is a list of all tasks where the current task incomplete websites does not contain current website. So this would be all activities that you want to add to that trip where it's not already included in that trip. So when a user first creates a website, there are not going to be any tasks currently assigned to this website. So this list is going to grab all of the tasks that are not currently listed in the incomplete websites a parameter and we're going to have a countdown component inside here with a one second countdown and a finished action to update the task we update the, the current task by adding the current website to the incomplete websites parameter that way as soon as the websites created all tasks are going to be added to the incomplete websites relationship parameter. Okay, so up here, I mean, I haven't, I'll, I'll show you how this works too. I have another group right below the first group here that contains a countdown that acts like a counter here. So this, this group with the countdown will only be displayed when all of the tasks have been added to the website. So this takes the count of the current website incomplete tasks, and it is only displayed when it's equal to all of the tasks count. Now, if you have specific parameters you need to add, you can add the filters in here for that specific trip. But on the countdown, all we do is we link that to the to a confirmation screen or you could link back to the whatever data screen you have but this works well for me since I sent them to a confirmation page to let them know that it's fully complete so once all of the tasks have been added I added another input towards the top now this task count input it calculates how many tasks are counted as incomplete for the current website divided by the total tasks count multiplied by 100. So this will give me 
a number parameter between 0 and 100 that I can use as a percent to fill in uh, this here. So I'll, I'll put a progress value of the task count input that was at the top and a maximum value of 100. So this will actually track the progress of how many tasks or activities have been completed. And once it reaches 100% and all of the tasks have been added to this website, this countdown is displayed, which then sends them to this screen where all of the tasks have been added. And so they click the start optimizing and they would have their list of tasks available on their dashboard. Let me show you how that works. All right, so let's say I'm going to add Mario Flawless. This is my personal website here. As soon as I click this, it starts adding all of the incomplete task parameters. Completed, boom, done. So now let me show you how that worked on the deck, on the database here. So if I have my websites, I have Mario Flawless, incomplete tasks, now has 17 tasks. And that's how you would add a collection of items to another collection of items within Adalo. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at our website at www.templar.design.